All right, y'all. Today we are going to be putting a new voltage regulator on this alternator. This is on a, my 91 Camaro 5.3 swapped. Um, I got some janky rigged light bulb set up on here. I was trying to make it charge for a test drive. We got a cruise we're trying to go to this weekend. Just needing to work the kinks out of the car, but anyway um yeah this is a this is a one wire exciter uh regulator it does not require that you run a plug this ain't got nothing wired up to it right now the regulator is actually bad on this alternator anyway but um yeah all you hook up is just your um wires that go to the battery and it automatically has got a preset voltage in it. You can buy these where they uh, charge at different voltages. I think this one's 14.7. Uh, um, you can get them like 14.0, 14.5. But uh, I chose the 14.7 uh, the one. So just a minute here, I'm gonna get this alternator off and we'll uh, see what this takes. All right, so we got her off. Got here on the bench. Um, so yeah, you just got to remove the control module here. Um, looks like there's a soldered on joint right there we'll have to take care of, but it's just got these uh, inverted Torx bolts, which I should have a socket for. It's a little loose, but give it a shot. Oh wow, wasn't very tight. Cool. Just do this one handed here. Yeah, um, so on these normally, I believe it is this wire. Um, you can put a resistor on here. I can't remember the rating on the resistor, but um, you can find them online. They're, uh, I think else one tech has it, but you just hook a, uh, a resistor between here and your uh, battery voltage and it will charge um, this one since the regular is bad already it's got to be replaced anyway but um, that's why I went with the with the one wire I might actually keep getting those because you can actually you can buy the pigtail with the resistor built onto it um, but the whole the whole regulator is not much more and it makes it a little make it a little cleaner looking oh, these things are just oh, that one's on there pretty tight may have to get torch to get that solder joint there we'll see here in a second uh, both a little different on that one off there and the new one should bolt the new one should bolt right on so uh, give me a second here and I'll uh, figure out what I'm going to use to get that off and I'll be back 
All right, we're gonna try the old soldering iron here first. Crank her up to 11 here. Max. All right. Hopefully the thing, well, this thing is pretty freaking hot. But uh, yeah, once it, once it warms up, see if she'll do her. But this thing takes a couple minutes to warm up, so yeah. All right, boys and girls, let's see if this thing's gonna work here. Oh, yeah, nice and shiny. I like to put like a little dab of solder on the end, kind of helps the heat transfer a little bit here. Get the damn camera where you can see. Sure, sure, let me try them. Okay. All right, probably going to put you down here for a second. We can do this I'm not one handed. Alright, so we got the old one out. I was trying to get the new one in while it's still hot. This will focus. There it is. It is not all the way on there. Um, figured we could probably get these uh, get these bolts started. And then I'm just going to get the, probably going to get the torch. The problem is every time I stick the, uh, Try to stick the pin in there, it cools it off, and yeah, we'll go in there. Get these tightened back up. Really hoping this is gonna work. I ain't never done this before, so I guess we're gonna find out. Alright, sitting on there. Sitting on there flush. Alright, let me go let me go grab the torch. Alright, got it on there. Uh wasn't too easy. I had to kind of get the angle just right to get it on there, but nothing the old propane torch couldn't do. So, I'm going to get these bolts tightened up the rest of the way. A little snug on them and then uh, chunk it in and see what happens. Alright, turn this thing off. Bolt nose on there, belt on. Got wire stick back up on the back. Pull this crap off. start up here I'm gonna have to go get the key all right we got a key this one's got a I got a Holly Terminator in it
which this regulator is junk. Um, just DOA. Um, I went through looking through my piles of crap. I got a, quite the selection of used LS stuff. I found a alternator in a box. I think it came off a convertible I had at a, at a third gen like this so it did a turbo LS swap on and uh, I think I upgraded alternators on it but I've got a uh, resistor in line here on the exciter wire. Um, curious to see how it's going to do. So right now it's working. We're charging oh, 14 volts, 14 and a half ish, which is awesome. I'm letting it warm up. This thing takes forever to warm up. I'll kick the fans on and I'll let it kick the fans on and see how it does. But uh, yeah, kind of ruined my video here. I was hoping that regulator was going to be the shit. But uh, yeah, it wasn't. I thought it smelled gas. I was checking to see if I had any fuel leaks. Doesn't look like it. Anywho, uh, that's it for this video. Um, I'm gonna start and try to take. Well, I'm gonna try and start making more videos on some of this stuff. But yeah, if you got any questions or anything, just let me know.